So you are very passionate up there about how this is your coming out party and being seven years old. Why is this particular, like, is this your coming out party? Well, um, I said it because this is my first time fighting in Vegas. Everybody knows that Vegas is the boxing capital of the world. You know, everybody, every big fighter comes to Vegas from Mike Tyson to um, Mayweather to all the big names coming through Vegas is it's, it's big and um, this is my first time I've been dreaming of fighting in Vegas this is finally happening and this is my coming out party to introduce myself to the big stage and so what is it then with this coming out party what is it that you really want to show uh, well, I, see, people have this perception about me about they don't know where, which way I can go. They don't know if, if you know, I'm a elite fighter. They don't know what they get. So I want to definitely prove to people that I am elite level um, against an elite fighter. That's what I need. I need that, that one that one um, fight that's gonna say, okay, this guy deserves to be at this level. And that's what that's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing at. That's what I definitely look forward to doing against Mercon. Are there any tools in particular that you want to show that makes you an elite fighter? Yeah, my, my angles, uh, my power, especially. My power is going to be there. And, and, I, and I plan on doing a host of things, you know, because, you know, he's not no kickball, but I got, I got the capabilities of beating him, so that's what I plan on doing. Now, Amir has given you the utmost respect, mm -hmm. but when you say your power, you think maybe people are misjudging your power? Because also there have been questions about mm -hmm. Amir and his chin. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, people are definitely down my power. Like, like I said, you know, I've been fighting elite fighters since Junior Winter, back to back to back. So it's kind of hard to knock out elite fighters at the top level, you know, and that's why I haven't got a knockout. But, you know, I plan on, if it's there, I'm going to take it. Everybody knows about this chin. Everybody knows he's capable of getting knocked out, but I'm focused on beating him for 12 rounds. If the knockout comes, the power's going to be there. The power's going to be there, and I am mean, I mean, going to try to knock him out. But if it's not there, I'm going to beat him for 12 rounds. And you fought mostly more aggressive fighters, more people that are just mm -hmm. like all, you know, yeah. you know, to the wall going yeah. at you. Yeah. Is this going to be something like real, really where you're going to kind of improve upon your dossier, showing that you can really box a boxer? I, I, definitely, definitely. I definitely feel that this fight is going to show people that I can fight them all, you know, to boxers, to speed fighters, to people that are coming forward, to, you know, all of it. Um, Mercon is going to, you know, be using his speed, going to be hitting and jump out, hitting and jump out, and I'm going to have to show people how I can deal with it, how I'm smart enough to deal with that. And after this, they'll understand that I'm at lead level. Do you have any special, since you obviously, like if you have this dream and you reference all that stuff, do you have any special rituals or anything that you do, like before you go in the ring? <laughs> well, well, it just, I try to mellow down, you know, um, I listen to a lot of music that uh, motivate me, motivate me and just, um, just mellow, you know, think about the past things that got me to this point where I'm at.